I'm Hazel, it's Saturday today, which makes it time to sit down and catch up on the WOW news of the week, what I have been up to, and answer some of your questions. This week has been our final one before the upcoming patch, patch 10.1.5 releases this Tuesday. Currently, the thing that I am most excited for with the new patch is running the new Mega Dungeon. They have released full patch notes though, so if you want to read through every last little thing that they're doing, I shall link that down below. In order to promote the patch, devs gave a variety of interviews to different outlets. In one of them, we learned that those data mined assets that we saw a few weeks ago that were kind of hinting that Trader's Tender might end up on the cash shop were actually related to it being possibly included in future bundles, uh, such as for when they sell deluxe editions of expansions, and that they currently have no plans to add it directly to the cash shop. Ian said that the overwhelming majority of the tender that you get should be the way that we currently get it. They are well aware of the backlash, so I don't think that we're going to see like straight tender for cash on the shop anytime soon. Other things we learned and or relearned, uh, Ian confirmed that there will be fewer tier items dropping once 1015 comes out in Aberus the Shattered Crucible, meaning that there is a greater chance of all of the other items. Uh, since with the Creation Catalyst right now, it is very, very easy to get your full tier set online. This is really good news, especially for people that are still chasing specific trinkets. Speaking of the Catalyst, 1015 is also when it is going to regain the ability to turn Season 1 items into tiers. So if you were trying to collect like your Vault of the Incarnate set for cosmetic reasons, that is something the Catalyst will be able to help you with. Other things coming in 1015 that we just learned about, there will be a new vendor for profession aficionados that will let you exchange your profession knowledge points for metal once you have finished specking your tree out. So once you have fully trained every trait in your profession and you're still getting knowledge points, I know it sounds like a lot, but there are people in this boat. You will be able to trade those excess knowledge points in exchange for metal, which will help you, um, you know, make more gold out of your craft since you can guarantee more high rank items. There's going to be a new Twitch drop on the way for WoW, again to promote the new patch release. From July the 11th until the 18th, you'll be able to watch WoW streams to get the Picnic Basket TCG toy. I'll link an article with all the details, but the toy itself looks like this. I particularly appreciate little pineapples on it. It is yet another TCG item that has been available off the Black Market Auction House that is now being given away as Twitch drops, which is fine by me, but it is also why I no longer buy TCG items on the BMA. And then that's more or less it. Everything's pretty much in order for the new patch release. Uh, the experience buff is running out. We are on our last final days of that. The Winds of Sanctuary is going to end when the patch comes out July 11th. I have now achieved 14 level 70 characters is my current account total. Um, and a half. I'm working on a Holy Paladin right now. I've definitely gotten some good use out of that leveling buff. It's going to feel weird leveling after the buff, but, you know, with like expanded warlock races and stuff, I still might have a few more ults on my sleeve. As far as what I've been up to, uh, currently, as of this particular moment when I'm recording this, I'm baking a pie-like creation and it smells delicious, but it looks messy because I have no skill or finesse with pastry and yet I still insist on making the pie crust from scratch because I figure if I do it enough times and eventually it'll look nice. It would help if I didn't keep doing it the same way every time, but it'll taste good, I think. I've got some ice cream for it too. Questions for this week. John's Hobby Hut wants to know, do you think the new augmentation of Ochre Spec will be the start of a fourth class type moving forwards? Um, do you think this could be Blizzard's sneaky way of hinting at something more coming in the future, like a healer DPS hybrid character? So something very similar to this was actually asked in a dev interview recently, and their answer, as far as I can tell, was pretty much, we'll see how this one goes, and then maybe. I would be very surprised if they have any, like, concrete new classes or specs, like, you know, under wraps ready to surprise us with, but I think that if augmentation goes well and it finds, like, a nice balanced place in the class system, um, I could definitely see them adding either more specs to other existing classes or having another class that is maybe a little bit more focused around that in the future. And then Crimson Free asks, do you think that Mythic Zero should have a dungeon finder? I just started running Mythics and I didn't want to ruin someone's key by not knowing new mechanics. Maybe matchmaking would have made me more likely to do the content in sooner expansions. So thinking about that, about like a Mythic Zero dungeon finder, um, I don't really see the harm in it. There's a possibility that you might end up with like quite long queue times if people don't need it in order to gear. Although heroic dungeons seem to do okay. I guess they have that fighting as its own reward quest for that. You can find learning groups and Mythic Zero groups in the pre-made group finder and then put together a group and walk into the dungeon that way. And at least you won't have a timer and it won't be anybody's key to ruin. So that is one way to go about it. I do think that there is an audience for dungeons that have all of the mechanics but don't have the timer. And if it was at the tooting level that it is now, I don't see 
why it wouldn't work as a match made thing, but I, it would also surprise me if they did it. That would be a pretty big change. And then that's been the week. It's been a short one, but I have somewhere to bring my pie. <laughs> Thank you very much for watching. Uh, catch a Twitch stream sometime if you like, and if they are not a good time for you, I do post all the VODs onto a YouTube channel, so I will link that down below. I appreciate you guys. If you have a question for a news video, please pop it in the comments and include the word question to help me find it, and I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful day.